Did you know Yosemite had a sister valley? A valley that John Muir said rivaled in beauty? It surely would be worth a visit if it wasn't 300 feet underwater. I'm talking about Hetch Hetchy. Hetch Hetchy was a steep walled glacial valley, quite a lake Yosemite. The Tuolumne River meandering through the wooded basin, basin created a prime Sierra Valley. A movement spearheaded by the Sierra Club has attempted to drain the valley and restore it to its natural beauty, even putting a measure on the 2012 ballot. But these attempts are misguided, as the valley has already been lost. I've always been interested in how things work. I found its infrastructure especially interesting, as many people overlook it, and I've lived most of my life within walking distance of the Hetch Hetchy Pipeline. I've always been especially fascinated by this piece of infrastructure, and have produced a few written videos and assignments on it. The Hetch Hetchy Pipeline is an engineering wonder. It travels well over 150 miles, powered only by gravity, and carries on average over 160,000 gallons per minute of water into the Bay Area. The Sierra Cl Club was the prime advocacy group in the 1910s, lobbying against the Raker Act in the initial construction of the O'Shaughnessy Dam. In order to take over the Sierra Club's efforts, they founded Restore Hetch Hetchy, in 1999 as its own nonprofit. Side note, Restore Hetch Hetchy is actually located on, in Berkeley on Alloyne Street. While the group is trying to help return Hetch Hetchy to its natural splendor, its mission is misguided at best. They have had some success though. The nonprofit managed to get Proposition F on the San Francisco ballot in 2012, but it was rejected with a 77.4% vote. Just draining the valley wouldn't restore it to its natural state. Significant cleanup work would need to be done to repair a hundred years of flooding in the valley. All life has been buried for a century. The walls of the valley are bleached, and the valley is filled with silt. Multiple studies have estimated the cost of repairing the valley, all placing it roughly around a billion dollars. The valley used to contain a meadow, created and maintained by hundreds of years of controlled burns by the Paiute and Miwok people. Maintaining something similar would require heavy forest management. It's not worth the effort. Tourism due to the va valley's famous name could also cause environmental damage. Yosemite is the closest example. Its five million visitors per year have caused devastation at the once pristine valley, as crowding and people cause damage. Draining Hetch Hetchy would just make it a tourist destination, just becoming an overflow park to Yosemite and attracting even more tourism to the burdened lands. The damage is already done. Just draining Hetch Hetchy isn't worth the effort. Restoring Hetch Hetchy would be an expensive endeavor, both in terms of money as well as political support. We should focus on preventing a further destruction of natural lands, avoiding similar things happening in the future. California's Sierras have vast swaths of national and state forest. We should make these lands continue to be protected. Hetch Hetchy and associated reservoirs are a major renewable power source for San Francisco, supplying over 200 megawatts of renewable clean energy on average. Hydropower is one of the most reliable forms of renewable energy, and able to quickly compensate for demand, while providing vast energy storage. While there are still e ecological concerns with hydropower, such as blockage of fish habitat, it's not worth the effort and expense to tear down this resource. Restoring Hetch Hetchy is not the most ecological use of our funds. Tourism and the need to replace water energy sources would negate any ecological benefit restoring the valley could possibly provide. Instead, we should work to prevent similar ecological destruction from occurring in the future. Urban sprawl in cities threaten the little natural land we have left. Before we take it back what we've lost, we should stop ourselves from losing in the first place.